All right, let's talk toilets. <laughs> um, here's my throne composting toilet. Um, it's uh, it's completed now. Uh, this was supposed to be a uh, unboxing, but um, the diverter I got did not fit. My toilet seat uh, was uh, was down a little bit too. It just needed to be tweaked a little bit. I just needed to move it back a little bit. So um, you guys have watched my other videos. Um, I have this. I had um, this disposable diverter that you get, you know, from uh, Amazon. Um, it was really inexpensive. I did not like it though. Um, huge reason why it's, uh, it touched you, uh, like when you were on the toilet, this would like touch you, uh, it splashed, um, it's, I mean, it was worth $3. It definitely, it worked. It definitely worked. Um, and then there's this tube that went down to a holding, uh, a catch, but there's a couple of things that I didn't like about it. Obviously it splashed. That was the worst part. That is freaking gross when it splashes. Um, the other thing that I didn't like was that I had a one gallon uh, Amazon iced tea container and this fills so quickly um, and it overflowed. Once again, I was not paying attention. Um, I didn't dump it before I went to bed and then of course got up in the middle of the night and used it a couple times and it overflowed and gross, gross, gross. Not in this one, this is brand new. This hasn't really been used yet, um, but this is from the um, throne.com plans. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but this, uh, you know, the it's a little different than my other one. Um, this comes out, I put shims underneath it. You can get a six gallon um, can that goes in here um, that'll sit in the same spot. But uh, the reason for this video actually is to show you, like I said, it's, this was supposed to be a Unboxing, um, but I got, oh, I got a throne diverter. I know this is crazy, but I am so excited about this diverter. Um, they sent this to me. I sent them a really nice letter. I, I, um, I emailed them a couple of times, and uh, and they got back with me and said, if I uh, do a review um, and video it, uh, that they would comp it to me. So, hooray, thank you, Throne. Awesome. Um, and I did read some reviews. You know, people are like, oh, that's so expensive for a plas cheap plastic diverter. This thing, if I'm not mistaken, it's HDPE, which is like recycled milk jugs. Um, but it's bulletproof. It's a quarter inch thick. Um, it's, uh, uh, this thing is super durable. I will never, ever have to buy another... I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to throw it across the room and, you know, try and destroy it. But this thing seems like it is bulletproof. And uh, I think it's reasonably priced. Um, uh, and what I do like, so I had to shim this a little bit and move it back because I designed mine for that cheapy guy. But uh, here it is, man. I am super excited my girlfriend will use this now. I don't think my girlfriend would use this toilet with that disposable diverter. I, I just really don't. I think she would be grossed out. Um, this is totally different. This has this like chute. Um, and this, I just, I don't believe this will splash. Um, and then uh, this is a, a kind of designed for uh, a catch. You use a three-gallon water jug, I believe, is what they use. A six-gallon um, uh, bucket. Uh, you can use a five-gallon, and you can use anything for the catch, as long as it connects to this. You know, as long as it gets, you know, it engages this. Uh, but I am going to use this uh, three-quarter-inch line. Um, so this is really the setup that I'm going to like because I, this is in an RV. Um, there's a couple of things that I really like about this throne design, and uh, this is one of them. Um, it fits in my water closet. This is really small and compact. It's great for the van life, for small RVs, for whatever, really. I had a huge 
they had a huge composting toilet and I loved it, um, but it was way too big. It had storage underneath and I just couldn't use it. And this really fits my water closet way better. Um, now there's, a, there's pros and cons. My other one was like 39 by 33, so super stable, had tons of space, storage, blah, blah, blah. The lid opened, it was really easy to work on, to empty, this, that, the other thing. Um, it, it did, it used that diverter, but it was structurally, it was strong. Not that this isn't, it was the same, but this is a little tippy. Um, but this fits my water closet perfectly. It's, this is going to be wonderful. It was very inexpensive. I made this all out of scraps. This vinyl was, I think, $11 on eBay. Um, and like I said, I had the, the toilet seat. And um, so he, here's the, here's the deal though that I'm going to use because my, I, uh, I have a toilet flange that this is going to sit on top of. There's a hole in the bottom of this. There's holes in the back of this for vents too, if I decide to vent that. But, um, the toilet flange is still there in my RV. And what I'm going to do is kind of loop this. If you can see that. So this is going to be looped and then connect to my toilet flange. Um, so there won't be any solids in it anymore and it will be neutralized urine because I spray with vinegar water. I think you guys are hip to that. You spray everything down with vinegar water and it neutralizes the odor, but it also neutralizes the urine so I can dump this on my property. Um, I can fill up my gray water tank to as much as I want. I think it's, I think it's, uh, 35 or 40 gallons. I mean, that's basically probably almost a whole season. I think, um, uh, ha maybe half the summer. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I can, I'll probably keep it open. Um, the, the other thing, instead of having this just go directly down it, the sewer gas, you know, the stink from the black tank, which is really now a gray tank would come up through this. So that's why I'm going to loop it, um, and use like a drip loop. If you kind of understand what's going on here and then that will go down and gravity will of course always siphon that down and there'll always be a little liquid in this line. So it'll keep the gases from coming up. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I think that's about enough. I, um, I, I can't say enough about this, uh, the, the blueprints, the designs, this company, you know, throne.com, um, look them up. They're, uh, absolutely amazing. The, um, here it is right here. Here's the box that I got from them. Um, so this, these are the prints they sent me. So I think it's $95 for the, the diverter. And then you, they actually sent me, um, these prints so you can make your own. I think you can get different levels of fabrication. Like you can, you can buy the bucket from them. You can buy the liquid jug. Um, you can buy the diverter, obviously. I don't know if they sell toilet seats, but I think they sell a kit. If I'm not mistaken, they sell a kit to make this. And the whole idea of why I built mine was because there was no way in hell I was going to spend a thousand dollars on a composting toilet. Um, I'm off grid and I don't want to deal with a septic right now. I'm, I'm building my house and um, it's going to take two years before I get, you know, the house and the septic done. And I wanted a dry toilet, a composting toilet. So, um, here's a, and then here's the sticker. Uh, way to go throne royalty um, I don't know I, uh, I I'm very happy with this uh, I don't I don't see any real downside to it um, it, uh, it it's just gonna work for me this is just gonna work and um, I am uh, I, I am ecstatic to get this installed I'm going up next week it's uh, it's Easter weekend here in Michigan and uh, the weather's supposed to change and I'm gonna head up and um, and install this baby and uh, I don't know I'm just happy as a clam I uh, this is a huge key huge part huge key in me staying off grid um, you know I have a well on my property but I have no septic and uh, I don't know, before I start repeating myself I think that's it thanks guys have an amazing day and uh, yeah okay <laughs>